Hey guys, welcome to my review of The Flash. Finally, it's here. Dude, you know how long it took to freaking make this movie? And I will be keeping this spoiler free. My daughter hasn't seen it yet. She's gonna see it on opening day with me and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna do like a whole spoiler talk. So look out for that. And before I get into my review, can I just say something real quick? We had Justice League, which was, yeah, no. And then Zack Snyder's Justice League, which was made because of the fans. Zack Snyder's Justice League, there's that moment when they lose and the Flash uses the speed force to rewind time so they can win. Greatest freaking scene ever. I don't care how many multiverses are created. There is no multiverse or no universe where someone's in the editing room and says, yeah, bro, let's cut that out of the film. How does that even happen? But yeah, we finally get a Flash movie and they use a speed force. Annie Muschietti, who did It 1 and 2, he directs this. And I got to tell you, it's dark. But one thing that it has, which the Snyder vs. DC Universe did not really have, it just kind of had a hard time with, was balancing the darkness with the humor. This movie has a lot of humor. It's funny as crap. And it does it well. And yeah, it's fun because right from the opening scene, I have a big, you will have a big smile on your face. And you're like, oh, this is nice. This is fun. You have that little banter, which one thing, I love DC and Marvel. Yes, you can love both. It's okay. But DC is my childhood. And I got to give Marvel credit because they always had a little bit of banter going on, which made just superhero movies so much fun. DC does it right here, and it's great. And if we're going to talk about the actors, we obviously have to start with the first one. And listen, just real quick, because I think it does have to be addressed. Ezra Miller, oh. This guy has been, like, he's just done some stuff, man. I mean, not good stuff either. I know it's kind of a shadow over this movie. And he did come out and say that, you know, he's addressed that he's got some mental health issues going on and he's trying to fix them. Obviously, I'm not a doctor, but I will say, just based on things I've seen before with, you know, other situations, it does seem like there's some bipolar schizophrenia thing going on. And when that's not treated, yeah. So I'm not trying to make excuses for what he's done, but if he is having mental health issues, I hope he gets the help that he needs and the people that have been affected by it, I also hope gets the justice that they need. And who doesn't like a good redemption story? I mean, don't forget, Robert Downey Jr., yeah, he had a past. The reason he barely made any money with Iron Man was because the insurance the studio had to pay to freaking cast him was nuts. Now, separating the art from the actor, dude, Ezra Miller, <laughs> What a freaking job here. The reason I say that is because there's two Barrys here, okay? You have, and you've seen this in the trailer, it's not a spoiler, but you have present Barry, who meets like 18-year-old Barry, and it's there's two different maturity levels here. One is the age, and obviously the other one is that immature Barry still has his parents, so he hasn't gone through the shit that other Barry's gone through. So he's been living like a carefree life, everything's fine, freaking roses, Care Bears, all that crap. Other Barry, he's got some scars, man. So yeah, he's he, even though he was silly and, and immature in other Zack Snyder movies, he's kind of matured in this one. And each one of these berries do the whole range of emotions from anger to pain to humor to excitement, everything, right? One berry that does it as a mature berry and you have one berry that does it as an immature berry and they're different. And dude, that's freaking... This would have been the breakthrough performance to make Ezra Miller an A-list actor. But if you don't want to see this movie because of Ezra Miller, I totally respect it. And you want to see it for Michael Keaton and just Michael Keaton? Bro, you will not be disappointed. Wow. Listen, I'm a huge Batman fan. That's like my guy, okay? Even though I should be like a huge Michael Keaton fanatic, I always respected him. And yes, it's my childhood. But I was always more of a Dark Knight trilogy guy. So Christian Bale was like my Batman. Part of it was because Michael Keaton, to me, I just never really bought it as far as like the receding hairline. And also it's not his fault, but the costume, he'd be like uh, 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 moving around. It was just the times. Dude, this is my favorite Michael Keaton Batman I've ever seen. And I think it's the best Michael Keaton Batman you've ever seen. This is not just throwing him in there to say, hey, look, let's sell some tickets. No, bro, he's part of this story. And he's really part of this story. He's got an arc. He's got some growth going on. And when you went, no detail, when we meet him, he's not Michael Keaton Batman from 89. He's been through some stuff in his life, dude. And yeah, man, like it's it's just, there's, it's, it's, uh, there's, there's just so much redemption in all this, man. And Michael Keaton Batman has never looked better, especially with the CGI now and the technology where you have a 71 year old freaking doing crazy ass shit. That's awesome. Yeah. Speaking of Batman, Ben Affleck, bro, it's, it's his last Batman. They're blowing up the MC. I mean, they're, sorry, they're, ooh, shit. Or they're blowing up the DCEU after this and starting over again. But what a great final performance, man. Ben Affleck, he's never looked more comfortable in the role. And he's just having fun with it, man. He's like, it's like it finally clicked. Also, you've seen it in the trailer. Bro, 
seeing the gray with the blue Batman outfit, like comic book Batman outfit, dude, that was badass. It was sick, it was awesome, and it's a great final performance for Ben Affleck as Batman. You also see Supergirl in the trailer. It's not Kara. It is Kara, it, Kara, Kara, and I always get the shit wrong. It is, but she's a different universe Kara. She's not gonna be like the one that you see in like the CW show or any of that stuff. No, man, this Kara, she's been through some shit, and they don't give her a whole lot to do, so she doesn't have like all these tons of layers, but what you do see, you freaking love her, man. Like, she's awesome. You also see in the trailer, you have General Zod. Yeah, if there's any movie you need to see, if you haven't seen DCU movies and, and, and you're gonna see this, you have to see Man of Steel because you're gonna get really freaking confused at the end. You have to see Man of Steel. That's the one. And General Zod, as you see in the trailer, does come back. He's not as layered as we've seen. He's more like one-dimensional and cold, but it's also because he just, you know, he's he's. we're not seeing him through all of Man of Steel. It's, this is not a Superman movie, but he's cold and he's, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna get into anyone else because there are a lot of cameos. Stay away from the internet, dude. Until you see this movie, yeah, there's a lot of cameos here. So the negative is the CGI. I know people have talked about it. There are moments that the CGI is great. The speed for like when he goes to like run, it's awesome. And there's other, other moments where you're like, bro, did you finish that CGI? Yeah, not to get into it. There's a situation where you see like a lot of characters and you're like, okay, those look more like animation than like actual people. And, but it kind of works for what they're doing here because it's dimensional and yeah, but still it is rough CGI. Also, third act battle, not going to get into it, but obviously it's like the superhero stuff, you know, everything's freaking going crazy. It's good. It's really good. Like, okay, like I give Marvel credit, but also Marvel, they do those third act battles and it's like, oh, one guy's doing this, one guy's doing that. And it's like, yeah, 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 yeah. This one, each time you get that moment with the character, with one of the characters doing something, it's like a moment for them. It's cool. And you're like, wow, this like third act battle, like you feel it. It's awesome. I appreciate that. Something that also has to be said, and listen, no detail here, okay? It's going to be very vague, but it is a gripe I have with the movie, so I have to say it. There is a, you know, in any any movie like this, you have the, the hero have a, have a you know, battle with a, a, a main villain. That battle doesn't feel earned, and it's pretty anticlimactic to me. Speaking of that, avoid the toy section at Target. And probably Walmart and anywhere else because you're gonna it's gonna get ruined for you. Like avoid the toy section. And yes, I'm an adult and I still go to the toy section. I got freaking three Lego sets I'm ready to build with my daughter. And yeah, don't judge. One thing that also stands out is the amount of heart this movie has. This movie's got a ton of heart, bro. Wow. It really does come from a good place. The relationship Barry has with his parents, you feel it, dude. Especially his mom. Oh my God. And it's, it's, you feel it, man. And there's something to learn that, you know, the scars we get in life, they may hurt us, but they also kind of make us what we are, good or bad. And at the end of the day, guys, this is just a freaking love letter to DC. Yes, there's a lot of fan service, but um, who gives a shit? I'm a freaking fan. I enjoy it. But it's not like in your face fan service, like stupid. It's part of the story. Okay. So it didn't feel too forced, even though there is a lot of it. And there needs to be fan service because this is a love letter to DC, to the DCEU and to DC. And it's beautifully done. Guys, what did you think about The Flash? Let me know in the comments. Actually, I, I'm Posting this a few days before the, the freaking movie. Have you seen the trailer and you're excited about it? Talk in the comments too. Yeah. Also, please like, subscribe, and whatever to all this stuff that I have. And yeah, thanks for watching.